Hello and welcome to my uh, light projection tutorial. Um, I'm Sean and I currently um, I go uni and we're in the car engine. So someone asked me to do this tutorial, so I'm going to do it today. Uh, first of all, you need to have Photoshop or GIMP. GIMP can do the similar things um, as Photoshop. So um, you know, if you if you haven't got Photoshop, then use GIMP. Um, first of all, you need to locate your uh, directory for your cry engine. I've put mine in my documents, and here's the um, here's the folders. You should recognise them. You want to go into objects, and you want to go into um, a custom folder within there. So you can call it Print Light Projection if you want, or whatever you want. I've got one called Mix because that's how we named them at uh, uni. Uh, I made a folder called Light Projection. I just right clicked, go to New folder and obviously I wrote the name. I'm going to delete this one. Alright, uh, there you go, we're in that folder. Now what you want to do is minimize this and then you want to go into Photoshop. Go to File, New and then you want to um, copy this whole box, keep everything the same. Uh, 512 by 512 power 2. So, um, that just helps when importing it, so it's a good size. Uh, click OK, and then what you want to do is um, go to the text tool here. And no, you don't. What you want to do is you want to click on the filler, this bucket here, and oh. Uh, De delete this bit here. Um, fill and then go down, click create new layer. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on the text tool and you want to write sync, uh, whatever you want, it can be your name. So I'll write mine, Sean B. And then you want to click on this thing up here and then you want to you want to scale it, click on this again and click on apply or you can press enter and that should apply uh, now you want to flip the image transform, sorry, edit scroll down to transform and flip horizontally and that's the hard bit out of the way, it's done file, save as you want to look for that folder you just made. So, in is it game objects and then within the objects you should have the name you called the folder uh, mixed and then the name. So I'll go up one. Uh, there we go. I'll go. Up. So here we go. Uh, I'll go up again. So you're in game. You click on objects. You click on whatever you call this one, and you click on your folder. Any problems just message me. Um, and then you want to call it what you called that text file in Photoshop. So I call it Sean Sean B. And then you click um, you'll scroll down to Creative Plugin. There. Save. Um, Textures too dark will cause banding as your levels. Yep. So basically, I ignore that because I'm an idiot, and no, there's nothing wrong with it really. Um, I have it this way because um, the black will be transparent and the white will be um, opaque. So you just click yes, and it should save. And then we want to look for that folder we had this one, and there's the text. Now here's the problem: you should have created a DDS. So how how to do it? How to solve this is you just click on the folder, drag it, let go. Yeah, click on it, bring it back in, let go, and it makes a DDS magic. That problem can literally stress your balls out. So it makes you remember how to do it because sometimes it doesn't create the DDS and you wonder why your file doesn't show up. So take note. Uh, next thing you want to do is yeah. Go into the crying chin, the free SDK. Uh, um, 
I'll just show you how I made this little island. I just went up to terrain and uh, just on this flattened bit here, you just build a bit of land. That's all I did. Uh, okay, that's that bit done. And now, what you want to do is you want to get go to entity. I'll just show you. You scroll down, you see the lights. Double click it and then there's light, drag it out make sure you've got this selected and what this will do is it will follow the terrain and snap to objects so it stops it from going through things basically and now what you want to do is uh, you go down to projector it's usually not like this um, so you just go down projector and it says texture now you need to locate that folder we made remember game objects mixed light project yeah and you want the dds file not the tip you want the dds um, that's what i use anyway and then what we'll do is we'll we'll lift the light up and there's the magic you can slightly see it here um, i'll just rotate And there. I don't know if you can see what it's, it's projecting my name. And then uh, the, the, there's things you can, you don't really need to mess with this one. Um, that's just the size of it. The bigger you go, the better. And let's just bring it down again. There we go, that's quite nice. And do you remember uh, um, in Photoshop? See, it was white. The background was black. That's because obviously this is going to be trans. The black's going to be transparent. And you'll be able to see the white here. So the white's basically the default color. But you can. You don't have to do that in Photoshop. You can uh, do it here. That's why I said keep it white. It just helps. Um, and now you can just edit the color like so, so we got a nice green and we can just mess with the diffuse now this will mess with your uh, frames per second um, this isn't my my best PC, I've got a different one, this is just a PC I, I put all my junk on but uh, it will kill your frames I don't know why but that's how you do a light projection. Um, I'll be really grateful if you could click like or leave some sort of feedback and subscribe. Um, if you want any more tutorials on anything, um, just let me know. And yeah, that's how to do a light projection. I'm Sean, and have a nice day.